we can simplify this to saying that x is greater than 15 upon 16y. See, cross multiplication is all right as long you are dealing with integers and not variables. So I got all the integers on one side and we have this. Now imagine if x is equal to something like say 95 and y is equal to 100 you will find that 95 is greater than 15 upon 16 times 100 because 15 upon 16 is 0.9375 so see originally y was greater than x but on being multiplied by 15 upon 16 it became smaller what's important to understand here is that when you multiply a positive number by 15 upon 16 it becomes smaller and therefore x got greater than y when y was multiplied by 15 upon 16. So originally y could have been bigger or originally also x could have been bigger. So for example if x were 1000 and y is equal to 100, even for this case this would hold. In this case we would get yes as an answer. In this case we would get no. Yes and no both are possible. So statement 1 is not sufficient. Look at statement 2. This can be simplified to saying that x is greater than 105 upon 87y. Now if a condition were given that x and y are positive integers or positive numbers, this would have sufficed because when you multiply a number by 105 upon 87, you are increasing it when it is a positive number, but if it is a negative number, you are decreasing it. So when multiply 105 upon 87 with a negative number, you are actually reducing the num number. So imagine a value such as this x is equal to negative 100 and y is equal to negative 99. See, originally y is greater, but when you multiply negative 99 with 105 and 87, it will become much more negative and therefore now x will become bigger. So for such cases you will still get no as an answer and for a lot of cases you will get yes as an answer. Getting yes is easy for a value such as x is equal to 1000, y is equal to 10, of course this will hold and you can comfortably get a yes. Getting the no were a challenge and we got a no for such specific cases where x and y are both negative and nearby. So two also did not work. Now let's combine and check. Now imagine if y was something positive, then in this case, by multiplying y with 105 and 87, you have increased the value of y and still x is greater. And if y was something negative, such as this one, then by multiplying y by 15 upon 16, you have increased the value. Imagine this is 0.93 something. You multiply a negative number with 0.93 something. So you are increasing the value. So for negative case, here you increase the value of y, but still x were greater. For positive value, in this case you increase the value of uh, y and still x were greater. That means whether the values are positive or negative, x is greater than y. So on combining, we can say that yes x is definitely greater than y. Whatever exceptions were there, when you combine, they will start contradicting each other and you will not be able to get a no. This case would contradict this scenario and this case of no will contradict this scenario. So you will not be able to get a no as an answer. Only the cases which lead to a yes will remain and therefore you will only get yes as an answer combining led to a unique answer yes c is the right answer choice this is a beautiful question there is a lot to be learned from this one if you did not get it in one go it's totally understandable you may want to watch this video once again but if you can solve this question you can virtually solve all the inequation questions that gmat has to throw at you if needed watch the video once again all the best